Yo, what's up guys? Slightly different, rule guild battle. Um, I'm just gonna hit whatever and most of the times I just have a lot of those presets. I use my presets to kill pretty much everything. And with that I'm pretty much 9 out of 10 good to go for, well, everything. So let's see how far I can get with all of my presets today. So in this case we have that team, that team. Ooh, this one might be slightly more tricky but I think I can actually tank and hit it like that. Um, we have this team going over uh, there. This one, I kind of want to, oh no, I think, no, not that one. I will use this team and then this one is my Peng Yang team. So I don't really switch any runes. I would have to check if things have runes, but most of the time I do check for artifacts. So I always do recommend to check for artifacts. So in this one, I always swap around this recovery that goes both ways between Camilla and Bolvrik. Um, I do want to check as well that the artifacts are minus water. So that's definitely a thing that you always want to check when doing those things. You always want to check if you have the correct artifacts for like the minus things. Like the correct runes, if you have them properly set up. Runes don't switch too much, I would say. But having the correct artifacts is pretty important. So this one... I will use that other one as well. This one just needs the artifacts of the add damage, which are probably this one and uh, this one. Uh, yes, sir. I had a better artifact for add damage. Was I normally using this one? I think so. Let's just use this one. So we have that done. And then we have this one, which I would have to do minus fire already has. That's Gucci. This one minus fire. This one does not have minus fire yet, but let's add in slight minus fire. Okay, we're good. And then this one I want to have minus water, which it already has. Perfect. So in this case, I would like to do extra damage on winds. Well, actually just having overall extra damage is fine on you. Uh, this case, the artifacts are fine as is. This case, the artifacts are fine as is. So I think everything is set and we're Gucci to go. The first team is actually pretty interesting. Like that, that's cool use of making use of all of your LDs. And they actually do have decent synergy together altogether like that. And that's not really great for me, I would say. But if I just kill the units on the right, which I will. Oh, wait, they all get in there. Andy sleeps. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Is this actually going to become really difficult right now out of nowhere? Don't proc. Don't stun. Okay. Um. Yeah. That looked a lot more wonky than I was expecting this to be. I can't lie about that. But totally a free win. Totally a free win. I didn't strip jack shit there. So in this case, this team is just very simple, very strong. I never really understood these two units together because it just makes it so heavy on the water damage whereas it just becomes kind of weak in all honesty i think you want to have to keep in mind is that you kind of want to spread out the damage in between units so in this case i'm kind of focusing on the theomars theomars does do decent amount of damage actually even though i have minus water things I should have used S2, but in this case, like I said, I'm going to kind of spread out the damage because if I would have done the skill on you, I would have not drained any HP. So that's the main thing you want to do. You always want to make sure you drain some HP. You're not going to hit that much through shields. As you can see, breaking down the shield took quite long. I'm going to use this skill right now to just lower that HP by a lot more. But do I lap? I do lap. Can I proc? No, I missed one hit for proccing that thing. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We're still good to go. Can we get a counter? Nope. Okay, we do want to hit that with you. If we can actually freeze. Freeze is always nice. I did not really need to heal at that point in any case. So I just went for the skill. And we just tried to freeze some things. Um, let's see. He should take a turn before me. And then I make it to 0 HP. And then we clear it. So yeah, that's pretty much how you want to do it. Most of the time I'm juggling around more about uh, where I put my Balfric S3 rather than I was doing right now. But in this case, was not really necessary all too much because, well, yeah, the unit just came for a good rotation and that good rotation made it happen that I was able to kill it. But if you just tumble down the damage, everything in one unit, at some point you're going to struggle with 
while the shields and all of that kind of good stuff so in this case i do want to put shields so i actually have my skill up even if i didn't proc in this case uh if it didn't proc i could have done it on you but i think i would have still done it on you so you start healing yourself and i can start doing damage on this one so there's also a good odds that he, if he throws a shield right now he would throw the shield on himself rather than on this unit so i can keep working on this unit also with the other two units like the destroy unit and that kind of stuff so does that actually work out no but because of doing slight damage on that that actually healed himself and therefore it didn't heal the other one and therefore i could make that kill so that's kind of what you want to do for juggling around with this team seeing where the molly heal goes and in this case it just takes a little bit of time but there's no way you're ever losing this but you have to have this thing on destroy if this thing that that windy ain't on destroy you're gonna have a bad day like bolvrick I had a match with Bolvrick uh, plus Lima against the Mali, and that was pre Mali buff, so you still had the glancing nonsense. And none of my units, of course, were on destroy. That took freaking forever. I think I won after like one hour because my Lima was on violent. I was like, okay, if I proc as many Vio as once, I will get there at some point in time, but this is eight <laughs> so yeah that's definitely not a thing i recommend you to go through should have used my skill here to actually get five stacks and apparently i don't have that much accuracy to actually land anything but it's still fine like you're, if you're not good we're gonna lose this this that's why i also like the windy on the more additional damage because it still needs to do quite some damage to actually get through all of this nonsense especially if it starts proccing a few times and also you can see if it has a shield i had five stacks but i only did five percent uh, damage that is just simply because well the shield you first have to break the shield with the hp and that kind of stuff and especially if she drops a shield her shield is from max hp of herself i should have used s3 but max hp of herself that means that if i do bulwark s3 on a unit that has let's say 10k hp but she drops a shield that has 12k hp the bulwark s3 will not do any damage because the full shield will actually eat all of that so you have to keep that in mind also the shield if i'm not mistaken is from current max hp so it actually does lower in how much it is so at the moment you destroy more hp her shield will also deplete and start doing less but a lot of useless units are procking over here and therefore this fight is taking freaking forever yay killed by 900 jesus that's long Okay, so this fight, this fight, you definitely want to just keep focusing the Carcano. The Midas will always hit this thing, and he has near to no damage to do so. I should use this to prevent your S2 from coming up. Okay, apparently this is some kind of Leo counter Carcano, because I have no clue why I took that turn. But it's also a Nemesis, kind of funny. But in the end, there's pretty much no way that he will kill my Feng Yang. It's pretty much doesn't exist. Plus that this unit keeps hitting that thing. And for that reason, I just keep getting my fourth skill. up. Plus that there is 100 res on it. So it's very unlikely to actually die. Also the hidden state from Carcano doesn't, I don't give a shit about because hidden state is countering, well, critters. Feng Yang doesn't crit. Feng Yang just hits like that. It just hits. He, he does damage. And this is even on the minus damage artifact that I have on the Feng Yang. So... With that, it's just fairly simple to clear all of this. Once again, it just takes a little bit of time to get rid of this thing. They will probably go for another revive or two. I guess revived. Yeah, cool. I do this skill and I probably would just one shot it again. Whoop, dead. Thank you. Thanks for being there. You didn't do jack shit. Could your Feng Yang actually die to the Carcano? I highly doubt it. Feng Yang has so much HP and defense if you build it properly shouldn't lose so in this case i could have issues if i don't land all armor breaks but if i just land a few i'm already good to go so in this case that thing decides to go for a few procs that's not that chill that stunner is also not that chill i think i prefer to go for an aoe stun here rather than okay did not stun that that's not great so i have to push it back okay did stun that did do good damage on that thing actually so in this case i would probably kill myself on that didn't actually so yeah this team is just one of those weird teams you're always like yeah but he hit you and he did a lot of damage and then uh no this team can just come back on like super weird occasions and then make it look from like oh this is a tricky fight to like wait this was actually super easy this this is one of those weirdest teams you ruin it properly and you ruin it fast 
which is wins. So yeah, that's the first five wins. Let's look at the next five. Okay, next team. What do we have over here? Well, this is actually somewhat similar to the previous team. So we're actually going to use exactly the same where it adds. Uh, not that one. Where it adds, where it adds. Can't find it, can't find it. This team. Team on the top, I'm not entirely sure yet. This team is actually also same food to this team. But I just have to put minus damage on that. Uh, this team, there are a few options to clear this, but what is the best option? I could, I feel like this would be tricky to do, even though I don't have will runes on any of those, but it might be if I miss an armor break on one of the side units, it would take quite some time and I have to kill this thing for sure. So that might be tricky on that team. I would say that bottom team, bottom team, I can actually use a... Do I still have my Douglas in here? Where is Douglas? Douglas. And I want to add in a Molly. Molly is supposedly still ruined. Yes, sir. And then I could say I could go for a same A. Does that make enough sense? That actually does make... No, that doesn't make too much sense. But a Diana actually does make sense. Because you have a lot of these multi-hit things going on. Diana's not really on the crazy build. I'll actually take over your build that's normally from um, this one. No, wait. Ah, shit, I removed the full build on that. Uh, is this build strong enough for the current build that I have? I think it is. I don't really like that he's not going to take any turns anytime soon. But I think it is strong enough. I don't know exactly where those runes are at. Wait, I threw these runes on something else. Entirely, I just forgot what. Wait, I do think I do know where these runes are at. If normally I have these runes in World Battle or, well, RTA. But now these runes are on Rigel. And then if we load these runes, these are probably all of the Douglas runes. Pretty sure. So, good thing to remember where my runes are at. And then this one I just have to replace with something else that is similar. Because otherwise I take a Leo rune. Which is not the game plan for the moment. Um, what would we say? That is a high critter one. We could do something like this. It's somewhat similar build. Okay, perfect. So we have that team figured out. We have this team figured out. That team figured out. I think I can do this team. I might as well just use word at uh, this one. You're not willed. You're not willed. You do have shield runes on those and you're not that great into shield runes. So I guess for this case, I might actually just want to use Tiana rather than the Robo because it's just, well, it's safer in that sense. And I might want to speed up my Tiana by a little bit if I can find my freaking Tiana. Where am I Tiana at? I have multiple. Somewhere, somehow, somewhat. Where are them at? Where are them at? I probably scrolled over them like six times already. You would say that I did. Oh, here is one. Okay, and I want to speed it up a slightly bit to make sure that I don't get outspat by that other thingy. Let's just put this one and this one for the moment. Well, this one is in 29. Okay, that's fine. Still not that fast, but it's just a slight upgrade. Then the first team. First team might be... Hmm. Theomars might be annoying. This thing might be annoying, but it's also not that great. I wouldn't necessarily say that this team feels that safe against this in this case. So I won't go for that. But I might go for some kind of bruiser-ish team, aka like this. They are not the best of units into a Theomars, but I think we're still good to go. I just have to check. There's a few runes that always go around i don't use this team all too much anymore but if we go everyone minus water so you are not you're being used you're being used wait do i have that many minus waters right now that i need oh, i have to put the other one to minus light anyway so we can use that one you're missing two runes yeah like i said not really using this team all too much anymore 
but it can still be pretty useful from time to time. So we go for those and we go for those. There's something with HP and speed on this one. That's maybe a little bit too much HP. Yeah, it can work. And then this one is actually missing nearly all runes. Wow. Somewhat surprised. Uh, HP with the Russer. I know that you are mostly used. Then these, I'm actually not sure what this one was using most of the time. It's probably something with the rest though. That, that's all I know. Do, do, do. Uh, I think it's somewhere along the lines of these units runes. How much rest are we missing? Just eight. And I mainly want to go for adding in some speed, some HP, and then we just have to figure out where the rest is at. Okay, let's just do it like this then. I guess it's probably also this rune, yeah, that actually does make quite some sense. Okay, that's totally fine. And then RDs, we're also looking at minus water, minus water on this side. And for this one, I always had a recovery S2 is probably somewhere over there. So yeah, it does take a little bit of time of reruning in this case. Normally I have faster teams or like faster setups of stuff, but in this case, I wanted to use a few slide teams that I didn't have exactly ruined up as of this moment. So for that case, it does take a little bit more time for reruning. I actually want a combination of water and light. Probably I do have. Do I have? That's attack. I don't like it. This is a little bit of both. It's actually a very little bit, little bit kind of style. And this one, uh, I actually just throw one of those minus waters on it. I think I don't need it as much on you because, well, this thing is just not going to do all too much. Minus water, what do we have? Minus water, sure thing, that is fine. Okay, so that was quite a bunch of reruning. I think everything is set. Yes, everything is set. So we go into round number two. And let's see what we can do. So this thing moves first, stuns everyone actually. That's not too great. We stun this one back. We don't. That's not great either. That does hit it a little bit. I proc out. That is perfect because that thing just does an insane amount of damage. We stun it right now. We go for procers. This team always procs a lot. I don't know why, when or how, but this team always does kind of decide to proc a lot. So the main thing is I just want to control this thing and the moment i just control the theomars i'm already good to go like everything else doesn't really matter all too much as long as i just control the theomars and this team is just so good at controlling there's so much cc there's actually so much damage from that thing like don't ask me why but there's just that thing just does a shit ton of damage so in this case we do have that we have a slow over there uh we didn't hit that okay too bad but we can do this skill nice 12k on that one, another counter, okay, cool, whatever, just go back to sleep. So in this case, he will have the revive, and the revive is, it is a decent revive, and I kind of expect him to be able to get it off. Don't think I will be permanently stunning him, but in this case, everything is so low HP already that it doesn't really matter all too much. I can just easily clear things. Afterwards, one more time. Is this the safest of teams against this? I would say Theomars can go very ham and then you might have issues. But in most cases, this is somewhat safe, I would say. Also, the Clara stunning everyone, including a NFL that's 100 dress wrong element, is somewhat unlikely. An NFL moves should move before this thing and therefore you still can cleanse. So in this case, we have these units up there. In this case, I do kind of like to um, get the Savannah dismounted. Oops, I pressed the wrong skill. I kind of expected the other unit to move. That is not smart if I get armor broken on this. That is actually not too great. Okay, is he going to die? <laughs> he missed the critter. <laughs> Wait, I misplayed and he missed the critter. Nice, that, that's how we roll, baby. Um, so, okay, in this case, even if I do do this skill, he will kill me. So, we're going to have to fight it. Uh, oh, well, this is an option too. Yeet. 
I have no clue why this unit switched targets. Oh yeah, I, I just mellowed misplayed here. Um, would I have been in trouble otherwise? I don't really think so, but I might have been, in all honesty. Yeah, if something dies, it's mostly the Leo that dies. I could make the Leo on crit rate rather than crit damage and therefore add in more HP and defense on him. Could be safer for this team. I actually might do that in the future, but sometimes my Feng Yang actually died and then my Leo damage was still enough to actually clear everything. So for that sense, it's, it's sometimes pretty nice to still have that in. So in this case, is this team with a Kinky more dangerous than it was with the Teal Mars? I actually would say no, because... Kinky is just, it's a lot slower in most cases. Uh, it does have the armor break. This thing actually decides. Um, are you done? <laughs> Wait, how many times did that stupid thing go? Holy shit. But yeah, that's, uh, in most cases, the Kinky is somewhat more controllable than, uh, well, it seems like everything Hala wants to proc today. I got your nose. That, that, that is my typical thing if... <laughs> if this thing actually makes it to a counter and counter stealing things that is the call i got your nose so yeah don't, don't ask me why but yeah in this case uh yeah it's just it's, it's kind of seem seem boring windy windy to op nerf windy every offense or every defense is shit because you can use sixteen thousand windies well not in uh this guild battle but in siege you can actually use sixteen thousand windies you only need 10, but you could use 16,000. No, you could maximally use 30 and then windy 1v1 on everything. <laughs> or 1v3, actually. Is that recommended? No. So this is exactly the case where I would say, like, okay, if I did the heal uh, or the drain on this one right now, I would have drained a little bit of HP, but I wouldn't have moved afterwards. And because of me not moving afterwards, actually made the full drain useless. So in this case, I threw the drain on the other one. And therefore, still the same amount of HP happened, but now both of them are lower HP. So I can actually decide, like, okay, who do I kill first? Actually, if you want to speed up your things, uh, you mostly want to kill the Molly first, because the Molly starts healing itself, and, well, Kinky doesn't really, pretty much. But, yeah, those are just things to make it slightly faster. Can we actually kill with this? Nice, we do. That saves a little bit of time in case it starts proccing. So, okay, in this case, this team with a Tiana. I don't use this team all too much with a Tiana. It is still pretty good. Uh, it doesn't insta-clear most of the time, so you need a little bit of extra damage. Or you just need, like, a crit damage on this thing. I don't know. But crit damage on that thing doesn't really add too much more damage. You kind of need that damage from the... What's it called? You need the damage from the pass. Passive is the real damage in this thing. So in this case, we're first going to kill you because you actually have the attack break. And the attack break is something that would actually mess up my unit in most cases. Plus, the Iris is not really not going to do anything to my team. That's It's just going to give, like, by best part, Iris is going to give me a lot of attack bar and a lot of cycling and a lot of everything. So that's a unit I can totally keep uh, keep alive. I would say that this team would technically be better with some destroy in there, I would say. Yeah, this would be better with some destroy in there. Because there could be odds of where you actually uh, end up in a 1v1 with just the Riley. It's kind of unlikely, but it is possible, right? And then we just, we just toy around. Uh, we just clear it that way. Yeet. Does it counter? Yeet. But yeah, you should always be able to clear this. But Diana on this, I if I would run this properly, I would say Diana on destroy. And I would keep you on Nemesis. Because at current stage, you can see it takes quite a bunch of hits to actually... You should be cycling with your Diana. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, no, I should. Don't tell me what to do. You should. It's just me being lazy. I, I knew it would proc, so then it's better in this stage. Not really. So, yeah, this fight might still take a while because of no destroy. But there's absolutely no way that I would ever lose this fight. Proc again. Ah, uh, Not you. The other one. Okay, and we are good to go, I think. 
Does it take a turn? That turn doesn't have or does have healing. And he yeets. And that's the fifth battle. So this was actually a little bit longer than I expected. 25 minutes for a video. I'm not going to pretty much edit anything out of it. I have been doing more edits with like memes and that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy those. But in this case, it was more of a showcase and like, okay, what is my process of how do I approach Guild Weddle and what do I rerun? What do I check? So I would say I don't rerun all too much. Well, I was rerunning a little bit on the second fight, but what I mainly do is check the artifacts. Check the artifacts like, okay, I fight this. Do I have the minus correct things? Like, do I have the minus light? Do I have the minus water, minus fire? Any of that kind of good stuff. You definitely do want to check for those. And then if you have the runes, like the presets for teams that you could say like, okay, most of these teams, actually, I don't use this team all too much anymore. This team is kind of solid, solid, solid team. Um, well, yeah, if I use that team, I cannot use this team. Very solid team is often used, often used, often used. This one I would have to rerun for. Often used, often used, but more in guild battle, and those two are often used as well. And I have another slot for something else that I can often use. This one is actually not that used as much. So actually, moments, uh, I could use some more presets that are actually solid for me. So I'm most of the time, it's just depending on my presets. And for this, you only need five presets, so it's not that hard in general. Also, what I recommend you to do, if you're struggling with guild battle, hit early. If you hit early, you can hit whatever you want. You can literally look at like, oh, can I hit this? Like, okay, uh, I don't, I'm not really good against speed teams. So this one I would might struggle. This one I might struggle. But this one is actually super easy because it doesn't have any formal strips. Like, I'm not sure if you actually strip, but I don't think so. So you can definitely take your battles if you hit early. And you can see like, okay, all of these teams I just don't struggle against. I hit this one specifically. Because in the end, your guild is more happy about you being winning then you picking the easiest targets. So just win. That's all there is to it. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. More of a guide thing for guild battles. And see you in the next one.